here we've got the Akai APK249. This is a keyboard with 49 full size semi weighted velocity controlled keys with aftertouch. We've got a pitch bend wheel, we've got a modulation wheel, we've got nice bar control buttons, which I found really helpful to navigate your instrument library. Let's just check that out. You can just navigate with, with these buttons or reprogram them to do something else. Furthermore, what I really wanted was also um, drum pads. This keyboard got 60s, 16 of them, MPC style uh, pads. Furthermore, with four banks, you can program a total of 64 sounds onto these pads. And then on the right side, we've got beautiful turn knobs here, and those really feel well manufactured without any wiggle room, very, very solid. And then we've got eight fader controls here that are that allow you to um, set the volume of each channel that you're working on and then we've got freely assignable switches here to enable um, a recording on each of the tracks on your digital audio workstation and then at the center we've got transport controls as well as um, control bank buttons that allow you to um, assign additional additional banks for these um, eight controls each for a total of 24 knob, con knob programmable controls, uh, fader controls and switch controls. And we have a display that by default shows our presets and allows us to select other pre-programmed presets and also shows um, the settings that we're editing. Mm. So. All in all, a really nice, uh, a really nice keyboard with uh, with a big software package. Uh, you should certainly take the time to register your keyboard, and you get access to software such as Akai's famed MPC software plus plus a sound library that comes with it, uh, which you certainly want. Uh, the Air Hybrid Synthesizer, which is a nice uh, analog synthesizer with hundreds of preset sounds, uh, beautiful beautiful synthesizer sounds, and the Sonyvox Twist Synthesizer, as well as additional software. And you also have a card with a license key for Ableton Live, which we see here. And uh, the keyboard integrates really well with Ableton Live. Let's just take a look if we duplicate this track that we have and just create uh, something like eight MIDI tracks. We can see how activating these buttons and arms uh, the, the selected channels in, in our digital audio workstation and then turning turning the sliders increases decreases the volume per, per each of the channel and the knobs by default uh, give us a pan control in that channel but of course with the additional control banks you can you can also customize additional controls if you like so, all in all, a really beautiful package uh, that you get with this keyboard and you are ready to play. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful or useful, uh, please like it and feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.